you to do okay either I have no internet or, okay <clears throat> hi today I decided to do a Nez Pierce legend and this one's called how the beaver stole fire from the pines and I'm sorry <laughs> So once, long before there were any people in the earth, the different animals and trees lived and moved about and talked together like, just like human beings do. And the pine tree had the secret of fire and he guarded it very jealously. so that no matter how cold it was, only the pines could stay warm and keep themselves warm. Um, so one year there was this unusually cold winter and all the animals were in danger of freezing to death. But all their attempts to discover the pine's secret were in vain until this wise old beaver came up with a plan to steal fire from the pine trees. So the pine trees at a certain place called the Grand Ronde every year. And at this council, they built a very large fire to keep themselves warm. And then they would um, go swimming. And after they bathed in the icy water, they would warm themselves by the fire. So in order to keep nobody, everybody from stealing their fire secret while they bathed, they put out some sentinels. And so, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really hard to do both of these at the same time. Um, so they put out the sentinels to keep people from stealing, or the other animals and trees from stealing their fire secret. But Beaver had hidden under the bank of a near, uh, at the bank of the Grand Ronde River, um, near the fire and waited. And while he was waiting there, a coal rolled out from their fire and he grabbed it and stuck it in his, held it close to his chest and started, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> The beaver darted <clears throat> uh, side to side to dodge the pursuers, and when he had a good start, he kept a straight course. And the pine. ran after him. Uh, okay. <laughs> after running a long time, the pines grew tired. So most of them halted in a body, halted, mm, and that's, I don't know, 
halted where they were at on the riverbank, and they remain there in great numbers to this day, forming a growth so dense that hunters can hardly get through it. So, anyway, okay, so a few pines kept up the chase and chased the beaver as far as their little pine legs could carry them. Anyway, I'm, I shouldn't do that. Um, but they've up one at a time until they were scattered along the banks of the river in places where they had stopped. Um, there was one cedar running in the forefront of the pines, and although he didn't think he could catch, capture the beaver, he said to the trees who were still in the chase, we can't catch him, but I'll go on top of the hill, and I'll see how far ahead of us he is. So he ran up on top of the hill. I saw the beaver diving into the snake, big snake river where the Grande enters it and told them uh, that the further pursuit was out of the question. They weren't going to catch him at this point now that he had crossed the river. The cedar stood and watched beaver dart across the big snake river and give fire to some of the willows on the opposite. Okay, hang on, sweet pea. Again. Just a second, hang on. Grandma's doing something. Okay? So anyway, for the pursuit... Oh, sorry. The cedars watched the bear give it to the willows on the, on the opposite bank and recross further on and give fire to the birch and so, so on to several other kinds of trees. And since that time... Those trees didn't really care about the fire secret. So that is why they use those trees when they're making fire. That Ms. Pierce and other Native Americans use those trees when they're making fire because they give up the secret to the to fire easily. Oops, I was supposed to. Okay, um, anyway, so here he is holding his little fire that he stole from the pine trees. Uh, okay, so the... Uh, Grandma, is it fine if Clark breaks one? I guess it's too late now. I think. Okay, Cedar still stands alone on top of the hill where he stopped near the junction of the Grand Rio and the Big Snake River. He is very old so that his top is dead but he still stands as a testament to the truth of this story according to Nez Pierce legend. So I'm gonna hang on a sec. I'm sorry. This I wanted this not to last as long as the other one lasted because I um, didn't want people to get bored. But now the story didn't actually last as long as uh, my picture drawing did. <laughs> so I will speed this up a little bit here and get this done so you can um, go about your day because... <laughs> I'm one of those people I'm, um, I can't let things go until I, I believe they're finished. So I will at least get this part of it done. So, um, that the chase, okay, the end of it says, so that the chase was very 
long one is shown by the fact that there are no cedars within a hundred miles upstream from him. The old people point him out to the children as they pass by. See, they say he is the old cedar standing in the very spot where he stopped chasing beaver. Is, is he supposed to be playing with these? No. <laughs> okay. Somebody's got a seat for him. 